start out as a whole lot here. But hopefully we can change that as we go throughout this. Let's see where we can get here on this thing. I always like doing these because you never really know what's going to happen when you play with them. So let's kind of... Well, I'm going to dig in and just start playing. We'll see what, what happens here. Get my editor, which is here somewhere, buried under all my windows. There we go. Okay, so first things first, I'm just using a linear transform. I'm going to change that, let's see what else we can find here. And they all kind of look pretty, pretty similar in the beginning, but you can kind of play around with these and see what happens to them. I already like where that's headed. Got a little higher. I'm still not exactly sure how to, where I want to set this stopping slope at. Let's see here, what if we make it a little bit bigger? Let's mess around with the transform a little bit, see if we can find something a little bit more interesting with it. Can it do anything? Boy, it's, uh, it's struggling hard to do anything right now. Certainly is smashing my computer though, this is weird. Well, maybe this is going to work. <laughs> Come on, program. Keep up. I'm going to try restarting this thing real quick. Let's close that and reboot it here. It was working just fine until I started the stream. Pretty typical. Let's see if I can boot up into... Okay, there we go. So now let's get a new empty. Uh, and let's change this. Let's see here. Where's my calculator? Got to figure out exactly what my uh, my size is here. 1920. I should have this memorized by now, so that's correct. What's 1080 divided by 2 is 540. I should be able to do that in my head. That's sad. All right. New empty. There we go. My phone decided to let me know that I am now live. Okay, so let's get back in here. Let's get an iterator with the transform on it. And let's give it some, some movement and see where it goes. Okay, we're working again. Ah, never can sleep, way too busy for that. How are you doing, Dr. Puffer? How's the uh, the home owning going? Been making any progress with that? Let's see here. Let's start with a log. I've had luck with the logarithmic one before. There we go, that's starting to get something kind of cool. Yeah, let's start there. Move it around a little bit and see what it does. That's kind of cool. We have this kind of opposing thing going on here. Takes so much to get something that doesn't just disappear on you with these. Maybe like that? Something like that? That's pretty cool. Let's add a let's add a pre affine to that. It's a go, huh? Oh, construction, huh? I didn't realize you were having to get work done. Or is it like uh, something like a remodel, or is it something like you're building a house? What what exactly you got going on? Let's see here. Let's add. Oops, didn't want to add a new iterator yet. Let's show me some pre-transforms. There we go. Let's move the pre. Oh, is that what I was doing? Was I moving the pre? Okay. So let's see if we can play around with this a little bit more and find something. Something interesting. Let's zoom in on this a little bit and see if we can see, man, it's 
A lot more pixelated than I remember working with in the past. Let's see if we can up this resolution a little bit. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna try something else. Let's uh, let's set this to linear, just so I have something easy to work with. Uh, new floor joists. Ooh, all electric. Nice. That's awesome. That'll be a really nice start getting in there. Then that'll be pretty cool. Twist, maybe. There we go. Now we're starting to see something. Just gotta add some rotation to this. Start getting it interesting. Kind of liked where it was right there. Nice. Um, let's see here. Let's see, see if we can move the palette and get something a little bit more interesting. Blank canvas. That's awesome. That's a good place to start. That should be a lot of fun to get in there and have have some fun with that. I'm really really excited for you. That's really cool that you guys are getting that going. That'll be a lot of fun. I like the blue. We're going with the blue. Okay, so we have a linear. What happens if we kind of start working this linear transform a little bit? It starts doing some interesting things. Let's find a different pre-transform. What's a hyperbolic do? I'm sure you guys are definitely itching to get in there and get going on it. I know how hard, it, how hard it can be to wait on some of those kinds of things. It's kind of, that's getting kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Let's see here. What's that look like? There we go. I like this kind of asymmetrical thing right here. That's really cool. Oof. Yeah, that's rough having double bills. That's that's going to be a couple, rough couple months. That sounds very difficult. I'm afraid to move that. Um, can I get a post to find? Let's get a post. Maybe we can move it off center a little bit here so it's not just dead center. I never like things dead center. Let's see if we can skew it off center a little bit. What do we have here? Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's about two months, huh? Until you get in there. That's... That's a good amount of time. Let's try moving the x-axis a little bit. What if we... Rotate it on its x-axis a little bit more. Hmm. There we go. Uh, that's starting to look nice. I'm not thrilled with the color though. Let's see if we can I Want to go back to that blue Actually, I like that one. Where'd you where'd you go? There we go It's taking a little bit longer to keep up with me than I would like Yeah, I forgot how much these things uh, tax your computer. They're pretty rough. Okay. I think we're starting to look pretty cool on this. Do I want to add a post transform? Let's try it. Let's do a post. So let's start naming these things. We'll name this spiral. And this one is disc shapes. 
Sorry, I know you guys can't see this, but... Oh, wow. So that means it's going to be a good three or four months till you're able to move in if they're doing the if they're fully gutting it out either way though it sounds like it'd be really worth it once you're able to actually get in there um let's do this let's do linear i want to kind of bring it I think I'm actually wanting to do this one with a different with a different iterator. Even still, even so though, it, it'll be a long wait, but it'll be very worth it once you're in there. I think you'll, I think you'll really enjoy it. What does flower do here? Eh, it's kind of just takes over and makes it that. I'm not interested in that. Flux. That's an interesting one. I feel like I've been down this road before though. Ooh, now we're talking. Now shit's getting weird. That's starting to look pretty cool though. I think we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna have big plans and no money. Believe me, you don't gotta tell me about that one. I know all about that. That has basically been the last however long of my life. I totally get that. Let's start a new... Let's start a new thing here. Let's do... Chaotica 2019. And we're gonna call this... Um, this is the hardest part, coming up with names. Uh, yin, yin, yin Yang for now. Yin Yang. Yeah, coming up with names for these things. Oh, thanks. It is starting to it's starting to get there. These things usually take a couple hours before they really really start taking off, but so I'll have to play around with it for a while. It's once I add the next iterator though, things are gonna change on us real quick. That's when uh more colors and Oh yeah, you got quite a bit of badges going on here. We got the VIP, subscribe, and the bits leader. I like it. Which I don't have OBS up. If you were, I, I don't have my. Uh, let me add this real quick because I totally forgot to do that. Browser source. Do, do, do. Um, event list. There we go. Where should I put it? I'll put it up right here there's kind of nothing else going on right over there for now yeah I, I know you got a lot of going on with the house and everything but gotta gotta say we really appreciate the support I'm pretty excited I got another stream coming here soon doing some video game stuff oh yeah she probably did um, but we got a stream coming soon that she's actually gonna be singing and uh, playing guitar and stuff on as well doing video game covers with a friend from high school and it's gonna be really cool we're gonna be really up in the production value and having a lot of fun with that so I'm pretty excited for that coming up yeah see once you have the next round of iterators this is where stuff starts getting real fun ooh okay so that did amazing things I am already liking that. Let's uh, let's grab this preifying and see if we can start morphing and messing with it. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, I'll still have uh, a lot of stuff going on with Darth Radius, but let's see here, maybe I want to kind of blow it up a little bit. I really need to start doing animated versions of these, but. That's pretty big, but I don't hate it. Let's see if we can see if we can add some. Uh, <laughs> what did I lace your weed with? All the fun things. I got into doing these fractals when I was smoking a lot of weed because it is just so much fun. So let's see if we can throw those kind of back in the the background with some weight here. 
Ooh, there we go. That's starting to have some nice definition to it. So we're going to do a quick save. Um, this is kind of taking on a new life now. Let's see here. Now it looks more like Cosmic Birth. I like to save it incrementally with different names so I kind of have places to go back to if I need. So let's see here. Let's um, mess with the palette a little bit and see what we can find. Because I don't love the color scheme. I want to find something just a little better. I know it's here. Let's check out the palette and see if we can find something cool. Um, what about the shaders? Okay, there's got to be something in here. Well, looks like we're doing it manually here. Let's what's what's this do? Well, that gives it some nice nice sizzle to it. Yeah, right. It does. It that's that's why I named it Cosmic Birth. It looks kind of like a a very subatomic thing. I always end up finding like what I feel looks like space and all that kind of stuff in in this program. That might just be because that's where my interests lie, but let's see if we can uh just edit this palette manually and see what we can find. I like I like where we're at. I just don't necessarily love the uh the greens and the yellows quite as much want something a little bit more i tend to like the bluer side of things what happens if we have a, add a black band in here let's see here oh there we go there's my hue curve let's Let's do like a blue and red kind of thing. Let's match the room color here. Let's let's push all these greens into a redder vibe. I don't want that blue to be quite so quite so deep or saturated. And let's bring the saturation of the whole thing down. Getting these colors right is one of the hardest parts. And I'm sure I will uh you learned Chuck Norris's email? I feel like I'm getting set up here. Not gonna lie. Gmail at chucknorris.com. That's amazing. I knew it was gonna be something, but man, that was that was good. I gotta give you that one. That was good. it needs a little bit of green there we go let's bring the opacity of this layer down maybe okay so that's not what I want to do it's the weight that I want to do I want to come into the weights I like the glow to it. I just don't want it to be quite so overexposed. It was just a little bit much. Also, I really feel like, and I'm worried that this is gonna mess stuff up, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try and add one more post transform to this other one. We're gonna see if we can blur it out a little bit. Yep, I was worried that it was gonna do something like that. So let's get rid of that. We don't want to do that. Maybe we can do it up here in the pre-transforms. What does that do? This sort of does what I want. Not quite, though. It kind of takes away a little bit too much of what I had going on there. See if we can put this blur somewhere else and get it to do what I want. Yeah, once again, just a little too much. Oh wait, 
I think I found it. So we need to do like 0 0.001. No, let's do 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Boy, that really starts blurring quick. Let's go with 0 0.022. That's pretty cool. Let's call that blur. I know, right? I did I did one one time back in the day that very much had like an eyeball kind of look to it. I don't love how in focus it is here in the center. I wish I could. Maybe I just need to tame this blur out a little bit. Maybe I'll do it like... Because it does. It looks kind of like a... Now it kind of looks like that thing is a window into looking at all this chaos. So maybe... Maybe if I come back to the weights and I give this thing back some more weight so it brightens up a little bit, it'll kind of look like a... Like a window in kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Um, we're gonna still call this Cosmic Birth Blur Added. Still not perfectly sold on the color scheme, but it's getting there. Let's see what, we get, what else we can do here. Let's get back into our iterator here and add a post to find. Now we got two of them coming up here. Let's see. Kind of like I'm being connected. But can we make this like skew a little bit? What can we do here? It's smaller, which I don't necessarily love. I kind of liked it being right at the edge of that blur, I think. I'll probably pull it off center so it's not dead center of the screen eventually. I will see though. Let's see here. Let's add a post iterator to this and see what happens. Or post transform, sorry. Not a post iterator. I mean, linear is always cool. Just kind of blows it up a bit and adds some, some twisties to it. Let's do something a little bit more fun than linear. Log, that's really kind of take us in, taking us in a new direction. Now it's starting to look very fractally. What else we got? Ah, oh, the loony. That's always fun. Ooh. Now that I like. I'm going to save that just in case. I don't know that we'll use it, but I'm going to save that in case I want to come back to it. Um, I'm going to call that gemstone. So that's starting to be starting to look like something that's yeah I know those do look like flowers don't they I end up finding flowery looking things in this pretty often in all honesty it's kind of weird so what happens if we move this around a little bit yeah I kind of like it in this center I want to try and avoid being too circly the death of an AI I like it Coming up with names for these things is honestly one of the hardest parts. So like, if you got ideas, I love ideas for naming these things. Cause it, it is one of the things that I struggle with the most, I think. I mean, that is cool too. Ooh, there we go. Letting it bloom a little bit there on the edges. Now it's really got some like flare up behind it. I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your name. We're we're naming it right now. Death of 
Death of the AI. Death of AI. I'm gonna try and sh change some of these shaders here a little bit, see if I can find. <laughs> yeah. Remembering the names is definitely a huge challenge. You are not wrong there. That's why I save them all like that, so I don't forget. Because I will most certainly forget. Okay, so I definitely don't want to change the selectors. Those are... Those are good. I am going to have to work on the color palette eventually. I'm going to have to make some progress on that. Because I'm still not completely sold on the color palette. What's this look like? A little bit more fiery. I kind of like that. Um, fiery palette. If I knew how to spell palette. I think it's something like that. Oh yeah, blue and green. Blue and green always gets me. This this color palette though right here, this is pretty cool. It's got this flame-like quality to it. I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. I think I'm gonna work off this for a bit. So let's, let's move from here. We're gonna add a new iterator and see what happens. Because every time I add a new iterator, things get weird. kind of killed my color palette but yeah it does kind of look like a Buddhist thing doesn't it now I'm gonna have to work to get that color palette back with more iterators it's got to be here on the on the palette somewhere well I guess I should try and yeah that orange and red I'm I may go back to that just because I really like that I might have to find my way back to that there we go Let's see if I can find just the right spot for it here well we'll dig in a little tighter with that later let's see if we can find some transformations that are cool here let's let's look around a bit see if we can we get to, once you get a little further in New iterators kind of start blowing things out sometimes, so you gotta be a little bit careful, I've found. Because I kind of want to keep the vibe of what was going on. But, I also really do like... Oh, no, 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 please. I would love to have input. It makes it a lot more fun to have other people here kind of hanging out doing this with me. Honestly, backseat drive as much as you want. I will try and keep up. Not gonna lie, I lose my place a lot. Okay, let's get back into this third iterator and see what we can find. This modulus is interesting, but not what I want. Doo -doo -doo. That's a mess. Be something kind of cool here. We'll find something. Did you have work today, Dr. Puffer? Hopefully it was a decent day, if so. Let's see here. Kind of takes away some of those flames that I was really, really liking about the previous iteration. see here we go maybe what I need to do is keep something that retains this idea and then I can bring the weight of it down if I bring the weight back down to zero what does that do I feel like I'm still missing some of what was cool before Let's 
see here. Let's kind of go through these and see if we can find something that pops out at us. That's pretty cool. Be nice if I could get it to fall back behind. I still kind of prefer the flames we had before. I think. I'm not sure though. So let's see here. I, in each layer, can I go ahead and bring that down to zero? Ah, the bosses, that sucks. That's always the worst part of every job. I don't know why they always have to be such a huge pain in the ass. Let's see here. One, what does that do? There we go, now I'm keeping my flames. That's what I was looking for. Now it's getting pretty intense. Let's see if we can push these flames a little harder. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Lots of save stating in this process for sure. I want to get that core blue. There we go. But here's the trick. What am I saving this state as? What's the name? Star of Hope. Ooh, I like it. Star of Hope. There it is. Yeah, I like this because since I work iteratively like this, I can go back to any... I can go back to any step in case I screw something up and don't like it anymore. Call this tangent. Let's see if we can mess with this a little bit and get it to start. So we can twist these things around in here a little bit. So if we tighten down on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm paranoid about not being able, to, there's no undo button in this program. Like the undo just, it doesn't work on some things. Like there is an undo button, but it doesn't always do what you think it's gonna do. And I've had too many things where I'm like, I love this, I'm gonna try tweaking something, and then I lose it forever. And there's no going back. And it makes me sad every single time. Let's add a little bit more weight to this. Let's add like 0.1. So I like that real, maybe even less, maybe like, 0.05. I wish there was a bypass button. That'd be real nice if I could like temporarily bypass things. Definitely want those to stay up top. I kind of like them real strong. They're in the center. And I like the blue. Let's see if I can get back to that blue look. Kind of took it away a little bit. I want these blue lines in the center. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. A little bit more of this blue. So right there is the sweet spot. Yeah, there. That's looking cool. It's starting to look like an eye, honestly. If you put an iris on that, it would really be kind of looking like an eyeball. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I, I have thought about doing fractal tattoos. Um, from what I could tell, they are quite time consuming and difficult. I don't know why it won't let me rename this right here. Um, let's see here. We're going to save this just because I'm going to call it Star of Hope 2. All right. 
let's start adding to this because it wouldn't be fractals if I didn't go well beyond when I should have been done let's add some post transforms and see what happens sometimes even just like a nice simple linear push to add a little bit of extra depth can be cool sometimes though you gotta search around a little bit see if we can make something grow and happen in here I like the shape that we had, so I kind of don't want to lose that. And I feel like that's starting to lose the shapeliness. It's starting to look like chaos. Which, I mean, that's fun sometimes too, but... But I kind of like to keep it... Looking like something. Ooh. That creates a nice little depth effect. Kind of pushes these little spirals out of it. How far out do I want to go with these? That's kind of cool. Has this nice kind of like coming at you effect now. Like it's, it looks like it's like ripping through space. Now it looks like this thing is in motion. I'm going to hang on to that. I like that. Let's add the post. Let's see if we can get him to be a little bit less symmetrical. A little bit less obviously symmetrical. And they did some cool stuff when they were, though. Let's get in there. Uh, so this is just 2D. Um, the other fractal program that I work in is 3D. So I'll be doing a lot of that here soon too. And that one, that one's a little bit more interesting because it does have a little, like a third dimension thing. And you, with, with this one, I'm taking parameters and just changing the fractal. With the other one, you create it and then you can fly around and kind of explore the thing. So I'll probably be doing some more of that here in the near future. Just because I do really love the 3D ones, they're they're fun. I had fun make. I did a video, but it's like three months of work to get the full video done. So I kind of have been afraid to go back to it since then. I've been afraid to write a new one just because of how time consuming they are. It's like even once I finished it, it was a good solid month just of. I I have a render farm of like eight computers, and it's like just a month of those things kicking it out and getting it done it's a bit ridiculous uh i mean it's sort of 3d in the sense that like i do have a i do have a camera here and i can like um i can rotate the camera so i can do things to rotate the camera angle what does that do if i like yeah i mean i guess that's still huh <laughs> yes yeah. The 3D streams are pretty intense, to be completely honest. They uh, they can get pretty deep. I, I was I was lost in this stuff for a good, I would say, six or seven months where I was just like exploring and exploring. Oh, that's kind of cool. I maybe don't want to push it quite so far away. You lose a lot of the, the interest of it when it's that far away, but at the same time, we could do something like this. What if we pushed it further away? What if we pushed it like that far away? And then what if we put an iterator on the camera? Oops. Because that can be fun. This is where stuff starts getting real kooky. I mean, that's kind of cool, but it looks like a lot more chaos than I would like. You can see how these things can, like, just really take off in new directions on you really quickly, though. 
you feel like you're kind of heading a direction and all of a sudden you're somewhere totally different I've done this before these like orbs these are kind of cool to make these kind of little glass orbs I had one that I did that had like a look like a big dude with a bunch of orbs it looked like a Final Fantasy boss But I've done this before. Let's see if we can do something else. Now oh, that's just a big blur now. That's not what we want. Oh, see now we're now we're getting some like three-dimensional axis movement on it. That I like. That makes this much more interesting of a that's much more interesting because now it does look like it's coming from a third dimension it's not just straight at you anymore so that's pretty cool I like that we're saving this um I'm sticking with Star of Hope because I don't have a new name. Thank you, Smashing Consoles. Taylor, I appreciate you. I'm assuming that's not Eric. It's probably Taylor. Star of Hope, new angles. I need a new name for this again, I think. it's It feels like it's taken off in new directions on me again. But I do like this new camera transition. This, this really added a lot to the whole situation. Would Eric, Eric, no, he probably wouldn't. He'd probably say something inappropriate. We're going to try going for a new iterator just to see what happens. It's going to change my color palette again. I want to kind of keep this color palette we have. So let me see if I can find that on the, on the palette. I don't know exactly where I was at. But it was somewhere around here. That's starting to look a lot like where we were. Let me look here. I can probably look. It's... Maybe it doesn't save as I move on to new... Oh, no, it does. But I just have to do new things to keep it in the same place. That looks the same again. Okay, cool. So now we can play with a new iterator without losing anything. So let's start out by bringing this. Somewhere. Let's see here, maybe like that as a starting point. Oh, was I messing with the camera? I was. That makes a lot more sense why it was doing that. I still like the framing of it like that though, that's cool. Let's get off this camera. Let's mess with this pre-affine. See here. I do kind of like this idea of a linear phase to it, but it would need to Maybe not linear. Let's try something else. Got to find just the right thing for this point in the process because this is where stuff will really get away from me if I screw it up. That's cool, but it loses my, my flame that I was really enjoying. But I could also... Oh, thank you for the bits, Taylor. You're so sweet. Could just add a blur.
And then what if I bring the weight to zero on each of these? Maybe make the weight zero on everything but the back end? I think I'm finally starting to understand this program after all of these years. Nice, there we go. <laughs> I love that emote. I know I haven't been playing as much Metroid. I was honestly I was gonna play Metroid tonight, but it was just too much setup time, so this ended up kinda taking the taking the seat instead. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I finally understand how this works. For, for years with this program, I just kind of poked around and hoped to find something. Now I feel like I'm finally starting to have some semblance of an idea of what it does. Do I want to go for like a super blur in the back? That's kind of cool because it kind of gives it this nice washy, eff nice washy effect in the back, and I don't, I don't hate that. It makes this thing pop up really defined. It makes me want to kind of blur a little bit of it. Let's see if I can find a place to add a little bit of that blur. Okay, so that's my flames. I really don't want those to be hitting this blur. Maybe a little bit of it. Uh, it's just a little too much. Maybe 0 0.02. Boy, you know it's rough when like 0 0.002 dramatically changes your image. Let's do 0 0.001. Yeah, that, that's better. What happens if I bring this back in a heavy blur? Where do we go? Okay. So that one, I think I want to leave at zero. I think it's number one that I really want to... Something's just got a little too hard of an edge here. There we go. I was losing too much of that in the process. Let's try point zero one. How does that look? That's starting to look pretty cool. I'm gonna save a state here. Oh, but I need a name. Anybody got uh, some ideas on a name here? Cause I don't know exactly what to go with now. It's starting, it's starting to feel like something very space oriented but I just don't know what. <laughs> All right, fair. Um, temporarily, we will call this one. What do I want to call this one? Uh, I'm just going to call it Temple of Doom for now. It doesn't really match because I can't think of anything else it's probably like some glass Fabergé egg or the jewel of duple all right that's happening your yours is much better than mine the jewel of duple i like it it is now named that at least this iteration we'll see where we we'll see where we go from here I'm going to mess around with some color schemes real quick and see what happens if we like go way out there. What happens if we go something more neon? I don't hate this. And now it's starting to feel like something Metroid-y. Like, like the birth of a Metroid or something. I actually really like this kind of neon blue thing that this has going on. 
I'm gonna save that because I dig this. This is cool. Called Metroid Fusion for now. And we're gonna work off of this for a minute because that's that's kind of speaking to me. I think. I'm getting to the point where it's starting to feel like it's something. It's got a clear subject. We've got a nice background. We've got some separation. It's got a really cool, yeah, black light. It's definitely got a black light vibe to it. I don't know what it is. Something about it feels like it has a lot of intent, like personality to it. Let's, let's, let's try a few more. I, I'm always a little bit worried about like pushing too far and ruining a good thing, but I got to find that color palette again. Where was it? I yeah, see this iterator is kind of, I think we need to get over here to iterator four and remove that blur because it's kind of kind of hurting me here Point five maybe on that now I'm starting to get it back a little bit actually that would good pretty pretty good bringing it down low Having a hard time getting the color right back where I wanted it. Doesn't have quite the pop of that last one. It's here somewhere. I will find you. It's getting there. It's getting there. Let's start messing with the transform and see what happens. Let's do something crazy. That gives it some nice like whipping coming off of it. That's pretty cool already. Kind of dragging that stuff around a little bit. That's just with a linear. Okay, and I can move them around. Create a little bit of depth there. I still kind of miss the the way the flames popped out on the previous one, but we'll 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 move forward from here because I do like where some of this is headed. Okay, so. Let's see here. Let's try something other than a linear and see where it takes us. Because it's kind of a generic. Huh, that's kind of cool. Create some new lines but it also feels like it loses a little bit of my definition this whole thing so far is feeling like it's kind of losing definition now it's starting to grow out a little bit but i'm not loving the the feel that it puts on the main image anymore That's kind of cool. I don't like the little like dots. I hate it when they pop up at me. Let's see here. I'm gonna add a post to this and see what it does. I 
Can I tighten it up? Hmm. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this as maybe. Maybe. And then I'm gonna load up the other one. Yeah, now that I look at it, it's not as different as I thought it was. Yeah, I do lose a little bit of the definition of the main image. And I do like how, like, that really kind of pops off the screen there. It looks like there's a lot of, like, layering inside of this thing right now. I really like that. Hmm. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe we can mess around with the camera and do something a little bit more interesting. Oops. Adding an iterator just always screws things up. Where do I go to add a camera transform? I know I can do this. Oh, oops. Can I only have one? There we go. Let's see if we can do something squarey. One of those ones that breaks everything, okay. Interesting. Definitely interesting. It's almost like a blur of its own in a way. But it really kind of defocuses the image. If I had that like behind the main image and did it as two images, that could be kind of cool. I don't know, that's kind of hard to look at though. Cool, but again, not really doing anything that I particularly love. Or is that a oscilloscope? Because here's where we can start getting some real abstractions going on. Put some breakpoints in the image. Where are we going? Where are we going? See here. Is there any way to turn it around? Probably put it to the negative. So I'd kind of prefer it going the other direction. Where'd you go? Okay, that moves it like three dimensionally towards us. Let's kind of keep that where it is. Okay, so it doesn't work to... Yeah, I know, it is getting nuts, isn't it? This thing's kind of... have a tendency to do that. They, they get a little bit of a life of their own. I don't know what I did with this thing, but I totally broke it. Let's find something kind of similar to that. Oh, I always forget about the Mobius stuff. We should definitely mess with the Mobius. We won't do that with the camera, though. We can do that on every other. I feel like this is the kind of thing I do need to have a good bowl on me. Just smoke a nice fat bowl and sink in. So I'll tell you, it definitely, uh... Definitely add some interest. 
fish eye. Kind of warps things a bit, doesn't it? Stretch it and move it. Still not loving it. It's always interesting when you hit a wall on these things. Sometimes I have to walk away and come back another day. You never really know where it's going to go. Zero one. It's kind of interesting. What if I make that go into the positive? Flip around. Interesting. It's kind of interesting. Oh, no worries. You enjoy. I don't hate this, but it's starting to lose what it, you know, what it was. Possible background. Let's see. Let's see. Camera. Epis. Moving on. Let's come back to that. I think that allies what no, I did a curl before. Starting to lose some structure. Which is kinda nice. It's got this nice wafty effect to it asymmetrical this would be the kind of cool thing to animate there we go now I'm starting to see some cool stuff Turn that a bit. I do like that. All right, so let's start adding some Mobiuses to some of these things. New transform Mobius. So here's where we can really start playing with stuff and move things around where we want them okay so this is mostly moving a lot of this outer stuff I want it to have this kind of strong vibe out there. Okay, that brings that all inside. Can we push it all outside? What happens if we keep pushing? Now it's kind of flowing. Where's it go? Where's it go? Hmm. I do like this kind of like outward swoop thing we've got going on here. I think I prefer to back over here off the back of the thing.
I do kind of miss some of it being in here, so let's... See if we can kind of push it around a little bit. Looking cool. I don't know that. It was better than this, though. So let's try again. But on a different iterator. Let's, let's put that Mobius somewhere else. Put it here. Let's start the music over. Okay, so now we're looking at our flames. So what can we do with these? It's interesting. Kind of pulls it all over here. Okay, so this is kind of our main image. I don't think we want to break this thing up. So this thing is a little too structurally important to what I'm seeing here. And it's cool, but it definitely kind of pulls away from what we had going. So maybe this is not the place for the Mobius. Yep. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. That's, that's alright, I remember Iterator 2 being that. So let's try it in 3. I should name these better as I figure them out. So this is going to be the Mobius. So now we're working on... Okay, that's right. Now we're working on those things. The kind of floaty arms. See if we can push them somewhere cool. Kind of makes them a little small. I don't love that. I like them kind of bigger and more open. I like these kind of like wafty trails this thing has going on. But I also like that because that kind of creates this look like everything's getting pulled inward over there. Gives us a nice kind of background wash here, this kind of split screen image. I don't hate that. I don't really hate that. So let's save this, save this. Kind of pulls them all tighter around this thing. I don't necessarily love that. I liked where it was here. Same with that. I think I'm staying where I am. We got a lot of we got a lot of mileage out of this iterator. Okay, so this is my blur. So I don't know that we really need to do much with it, but we can try. Add a Mobius to that.
Oh, actually, what does this do? Nothing I want. That's kind of cool. Brings out a little bit of that red. I think I want a little less brought out. Okay. Hmm. It's very g Metroid colors now, that's for sure. Go back in here to the normal transforms and see what we can do with this thing. Let's put Mobius here. Okay, so that's how we're going to move these things around. I like them spiraling out. But what else can we do with them that's interesting? We make it look like it's being pulled into this thing. That's kind of cool. Now it looks like it's kind of being pulled into this idea. That's pretty cool right there. A little too harsh. Let's see if we can widen that up a little. There we go. Maybe a little less. Let's tighten it back in just a bit. There we go. I want to give it this nice look of depth here. Just the right amount so that that's nice and full, but not too full. Widen it up a little? Nah, I liked it in frame. I do want to... position this thing. Definitely not that. I think where it's at is good. It's the, the vertical position that I was wanting to change. Point one. Point two. Point two. Yeah, like that. need to come up with a better name okay that's starting to look pretty cool I think we're getting to a stopping point here maybe everything else I'm adding to this now feels like it's kind of starting to detract from the quality of the image rather than add to it oh nice how was the drive? I'm just kind of trying to take a look at this and see what I want to change about it. It's starting to feel done, at least for the pre-production phase. Uh, there's always lots and lots of post work to be done, but it's starting to feel like I don't have anything to add to the fractal itself. That's kind of cool. Let's bring that down a little. 
but I do like what it did. Uh, maybe five. So we still keep some of that red in there. That way it kind of blends the two. That kind of makes that pop a little harder. Let's I like the color blend of that now. That's kind of nice. Ooh, close up of the Infinity Stone being set in a mount. Infinity Stone. That's a that's a cool title. Okay, this iterator doesn't look like it wants to have a lot of weight here. Yeah, that doesn't really feel like it's adding anything. Same with that one. It doesn't really feel like it's adding anything to bump that up. What's your cut? Whatever you want. You can have all of the money I don't make. <laughs> Where's the right blend here? I will tell you though, if I do end up finishing this one and getting it posted on my DeviantArt, I'll make sure to uh, credit you for the help because it has been very helpful. Okay, I already spent time on those weights. I'm not gonna mess with those. Some of these I haven't really messed with though. What happens if I... Okay, so that's my red stuff. Can I like bring the weight of that down a little bit? Yeah, let's definitely bring the weight of that down a little bit. Maybe not quite that much, but... Maybe like there? Yeah. That's cool. Gives it a little bit more. What if I really brought it down? Really pulled the weight of it out. Let's go there. Okay, and then iterator two. It's at 0.65. I need to remember that. Oh wow, that gets real gross. Um, five? Zero? Okay, so that completely removes that. Dude, these things are awesome. Yeah, they had it when the GDQ was having the SMZ3 run. Uh, I had to get one. I was... I, I think my wife and I both got one. We just saw them and were like, alright, gonna have to buy one of those because that's amazing. Okay, so... I want a little bit more of this than I had. Maybe right there. Try 0.8 and see what that does, but I think I think 0.75 is gonna do it. I actually played one of those with Darth Radius the other day before we did a music stream, which I think you were here for that mu a bit of that music stream. But yeah, we did a little bit of an SMZ3 run right before that. We didn't stream it, but uh, okay. Yes, definitely a great buy. All right. So, last order of business. We need to come up with a final name for this thing. It looks like it's being kind of sucked into this dimensional hole thing, but I don't really know quite what to call it. Hmm. I think I think we're going with Infinity Stone. I'm, I'm giving. I'm going with that. We're calling it Infinity Stone. Cause you're right. That's it. Dr. Puffer's got the the great ideas for the final names. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to hopefully go get a shower. I'm in dire need. So, uh, Dr. Puffer, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. You know I always appreciate you. And good luck with all the stuff with the house. Keep us, keep us posted on how it's going because definitely want to hear about that. Um, and I will be back with Darth Radius tomorrow, probably doing some music, I think. Yeah. 
pretty excited. We got a new computer. We're, we're up in the stream setup. We're going to have a new computer for broadcasting and everything. So i uh, be spending some time tomorrow getting that built up and set up and ready to go. So at any rate, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out and chilling while we do this. And I'll be back with more of this. Take it easy and have a great night.